Hello, I got a hold of a pair of brand new capacitors. These are 100,000 microfarad 10 volt DC capacitors. Yeah, high farads, low voltage is the way to go if you want to do these kind of experiments with free energy and all that crap. Things are a hell of a lot safer than these big ones. Turn this meter on and charge them up and see what they can do. A little bit of voltage in there, 0.294. So let's stick the 9 volt battery on there and charge, them up, charge the one up. Right up to 6 volts, 7 volts. I don't know how much power is in this battery. Come on, can we make 8 volts? Come on, 8 volts. Doesn't look like we're going to get 8 volts. Yeah, we'll go with 7.5 volts. Alright, we have our 7.5 volts. So let's stick it on the resistor board and see what it does. So let's stick it on the 10 mag. 10 mag does nothing. 1 mag. Still hardly anything. What is this? 100k? Not really dropping fast. Alright, what's this one? This is a between a 10k and 100k. Hardly making it drop. Alright, 10k. Still hardly making it drop. Okay, let's go to the 1k. Starts to drop a little faster. Then we have, I'm not sure what this one is. I think this is like an 800. Dropping faster. 500. And finally, 330 ohms. Making it drop faster. So we have 5.20 volts. Let's come over here and take this LED. Stick positive on there. Stick negative on here. Come on. Ooh, that's bright. Dropping like a rock. Not stabilized. Starting to stabilize at 2.7 volts. 2.6 I did this earlier and it just dropped to like 2 volts and it stayed there and the LED stayed lit for over 35 minutes you know we're gonna be here all day waiting for that to go out I mean when I did it with the 1000 microfarad it stayed lit for over 10 minutes so this is gonna stay lit for a hundred times longer before it goes completely out I mean I'm not gonna sit here all day and film that LED so we'll just leave it at that yeah, it's just like stuck at two and a half volts now. Yeah, as it goes down, the voltage drops less and less and less. I mean, yeah, you can see how bright that still is. Yeah, I add that second one to it, it'll go even longer. So anyway, there's that experiment. Well, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Remember, always be safe if you're going to do this stuff. Next time, we'll build a custom DC to AC inverter and see what this thing can do. Seven and a half volts again, so let's see what the short circuit does. Not much. Thought that arc would be a lot bigger than that. So that's what seven and a half volts does.